themselves. So we were banished from Zeal. Oh, so you guys were like born up there? Or something? Are these just like houses up here? Fine, I shall go. Out, get out of my way, lamb! What's up? The inhabitants of this land were taken to build the ocean palace and were never seen again. Day laborers are worthless. Do I want to buy something? I think I do. Do you have anything good? Oh, yes you do. Damn, I hope I can afford all this. Okay, well I definitely need the demon edge. Attack of 90, good lord. I definitely need... Yeah, look at that. It's up by 11. This is up by 13. Need the need the Megatron arm first, and believe it or not, we're already going to be replacing the Mass Moon A if I can afford it. Um, 107. Oh, so we got male and female armor. So I, I need at least one of these, and at least two. No, two of these. Two of these. And they don't have a female helm. All right. And what else can I afford while I'm here? Um, I can afford the Mega Blast. All right. Time to equip uh, what I can. Hopefully, I can afford that Flash Blade as well. Once I sell off everything I no longer require. Okay, I was able to fill around with money a little bit, and I was able to almost fully deck out everybody in my party. So I've got the Demon Edge. Uh, glow helm, flash mail, and silver earring. Now, demon edge. For some reason, I can't sell the slasher. To be honest, I don't really care. But still, uh, it, the demon edge has 1.5 times hit on. I think that's magic enemies. To be honest with you, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, everybody has the glow helm. Nothing to replace that with. Like I said, I had to get uh, er rid of everything. Flash mail. I don't think had any special abilities on it. No, but it, I mean, huge. Huge boost in defense. Uh, Comet Arrow uh, for Limea. Sarah Topper on her as well because they didn't have female helms for whatever reason. Lumen Robe, I think, also had a special ability. Magic defense plus five. Ah, Lumen Robes. Uh, Megatron Arm did go on Bloon, Glow Helm, Flash Mail. And Kyra got the Mega Blast. Uh, unfortunately, she's still on the Rock Helm with the Lumen Robe. Novin's on the Flash Blade. They will not let me sell the Mass Moon A. And uh, to be honest, I have sentimental value for it, so I probably won't want to anyway. Uh, Glow Helm and Flash Mail as well. And then, as predicted, JoJo has the Ceratopper that I had and the Lumen Robe. Besides that, you know, that's pretty much fully decked out now. You know what I mean? That's everything that we got. I didn't even have to do any level grinding or anything. There's nothing more I could get except for maybe another Ceratopper. But we're not in the right era for that. I don't even fully remember where I got that. It was definitely in the prehistoric era, but I don't remember you know, what fight gave me that. The Guru of Life said that Sir Janus has stronger powers than even Miss Shala. Janus must be using her and the Queen to get to Lavos. The Queen put the Mammoth Machine in the Ocean Palace to absorb Lavos' energy. Is that safe? She locked the groove life up on the mountain of woe for opposing her. The situation's hopeless. <laughs> it's hopeless. Can I, I can't go off that way. I didn't think so. It seems like there's only one door hole, whatever, door hole for, per level, which is kind of weird. I wonder if Michelle is going to come and play with us. Never. <laughs> she does not have respect for you lowly people. Uh, three gurus and Miss Shala treat us as equals. Oh, apparently she does. The queen hates you, though. Queen hates your guts. Filthy lambs, you are lesser beings. The beast nest is dangerous. Better stay away. What? The beast nest? Is this the beast nest? Please tell me it's not. It isn't. Sweet. Spend the night? I will, because I definitely need to heal up again, because, you know, we got in a couple fights. But, yeah, that's that's enough. And everybody, walk in unison. Thank you. The enlightened ones and the earthbound ones lived as one. Yeah. Jojo will tell you all about that. Let's go down here. Our hero, the guru of life, rejected the queen's plan, so he was banished to the mountain of woe. Yeah, 
mountain of woe. This hole leads to the beast's nest. Through the nest you'll reach the place of change which anchors the mountain of woe. So yes, uh, it is dangerous in here, so I'm going to be using this save point. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let us go on. Uh, I know I don't... Oh, I see a magic, magic tab. Power tab. Saw so some tab down there. I know I probably don't have the best... Um, the best party for this fight at all, but I want to give these people some screen time. We've got a fight against beasts. Of course they're beasts. I, I, I kind of wanted to know what beasts. I'm just going to attack him. Attack power up! No! Destroy him! Destroy that beast! Don't let him attack! Oh no, he used gore! The other one... Eh, just, just still quite a bit. Is he not dead? No, seriously. You should be dead by now. Yeah, I still haven't hit you, beast on the right, so you still should suck. There we go. Finally. That one beast goes down. And I'm sure these guys would be weak to... Uh, to magic, but I'm trying to stay away from magic right now. Oh, critical hit! Nice. Can, no, no criticals. Not used to getting criticals outside of uh, having Noven here, you know. But down go the beasts. Get 408 experience and 10 tech points and 900 gold and no dual techs. I was still kind of hoping for dual techs, but when I think about it, I probably shouldn't be getting them. Oh, more beasts. With all these beasts here, it's no wonder they call it the Beast Cave. And what the hell, we've got colored ones. You can't pass through here. And it's boss time. We've got a blue beast, a red beast, and a mud imp. And to be honest, I don't like any of these. Uh, we need to try to use some strong attacks against uh, the red beast here. Like I said, I don't have the best the best party for this. I'm going to go for uh, laser spin as well. But, oh, 1,650. The, the beasts each have 5,000 HP and uh, the mud imp there has 1,200. <laughs> Damn it, they used X strike. Now the red beast is weak to water, the blue beast is weak to weak to fire. So it probably would have been better if I brought a fire and a water type with me for this battle, but you know, like I said, I want to give these guys some some screen time. Do not like you, man. I do not like you. Alright, so uh, you go for a heal beam. I don't do not like you. He, the, the Mud Imp, if I remember correctly, is not not weak against physical attacks. I don't think anything here is weak to physical attacks. That was not even worth it. I might as well go for everybody else. Oh, and they counter when I attack the Mud Imp, so definitely do not attack the, the, the Mud Imp. You put him to sleep! The hell? Go laser spin! Go! Haste? I don't know. Go haste on yourself. Why not? We might as well start using haste. You know, I, it's something that I need to use more often in most video games, to be honest with you. What was the look on that him's face when he did that? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? No! She just got hasted, damn it! Don't take her out, damn! Alright, we need to go for Ice Sword again. This time on you. You need to go for another Heal Beam because everybody's a little bit low on HP now. Because this guy's getting multiple turns, and yes, we need to keep going for, for Ice Sword there. That is definitely our best bet right now because it does over 1600 damage. I mean, he's only got 5,000. I mean, the guy cures, but yeah, but 
still. Ice sword! And yeah, it's an automatic thing. So, even though I was selecting stuff, it does not matter. Go, another ice sword, and down it goes! I was gonna say, one more, and it should be enough. Um, jeez, what can I do here? Yeah, let's just go for another heal beam. We might as well. Now this blue beast, this one's going to take me a little bit longer because I don't have fire with me. What I do have, though, is... <laughs> haste! Which I will definitely use right now. Uh, it, I, I don't think... Let's just do two times damage there. I was about to say, I don't think it's weak to physical attacks, but I might as well check it. 374, it is... N well, it's not technically weak, but it's not strong either. And then uh, you need to haste on Vash so that everybody can be up and running at twice the speed. And then once again, you just want to focus on the blue beast for now. Um, I focused on the red beast first because, well, I had a chance to take them out. Uh... Do they have... Yeah, Max Cyclone. I can't even select the Mud Imp on the Max Cyclone, so go for the Blue Beast! Oh, because it's a... Uh, okay. I'm with ya! Um, you just smack it! <laughs> 88, that's not too bad, that's not too bad at all! Smack the Blue Beast! Smack it good! Go... Max Cyclone. Oh, Rocket Roll! Hits everybody! So let's do that one instead. What am I doing? Rocket Roll! Does that do... It doesn't do nearly as much damage. But he automatically counters with heal, so... Damn it. Hit the Blue Beast! Max Cyclone away! Once again, 5,000 HP on the Blue Beast. It's, it's probably gonna... Yeah, take me a little bit longer to get rid of him. But luckily I do have haste up now, so it shouldn't be too much, uh, too, too difficult. Don't kick! Freaking kicking stones on your own teammate, what the hell? Max Cyclone! Or Ice Tackle now. Max Cyclone! Go! Just attack. Another 700 damage. Yeah, this, this fight, uh, you know, I apologize that it's going to be a little bit longer than normal because I don't have a fire-type enemy with me, but... Well, yeah, Kyra's the only one that I have, and she was with us in Magus' lair. I mean, it's not like we're completely snob in er all the other characters. You know, these are the two that we haven't seen the longest. So I felt the need to bring them with me. And I probably should use an aura. Max Cyclone, go! And unfortunately, you don't have any multi-heal. Uh, just heal yourself for now. And then uh, we can focus on healing other people later. Right now, we need to do more Max Cyclone. I demand it. Oh, damn. That healed. Don't you? No. Just because I did it doesn't mean you're allowed to, too. I'll probably just do Aura, then. On, uh, on the balloon. Oh, and down goes the blue beast, leaving just the mud imp. Like I said, he is not um, he's not weak against physical attacks, so might as well not use it. Uh, let's go for Ice Sword. Because this is technically a magic attack. And it should do massive amounts of damage. It does 178. And then he heals himself automatically. So this guy's going to be a dick, too. If you remember, I said that he had 1,200 HP. Uh, so this could take a while. Let's just go for lightning, regular lightning, and ice. Hopefully that does more damage. 98. But he automatically counters. Dick. Does this do more? 122. So, I mean, we're... We're not doing any damage to him right now. We need to do dual techs. We don't have a choice here. And the most powerful thing that we have is Ice Sword. So we have to keep going that way. 
go 734 damage. So, I mean, it'll take a little bit longer. Wait, I want to take just one more. Just one more. That should do it. 734, 738. And down goes the Mud Imp. There we go. So we just need to use Ice Sword. 954 experience, 26 tech points, 2600 gold. And we've done it. We have defeated these guys. Let's climb the chain and get out of here. And we'll, where will this take us? It'll take us to a windy place. Which is Mount Woe. Yeah, I swear it was Mount Woe. Which we will take on next time. I already see an enemy right here. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Crow Trigger. I've been Bala Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by Vash, Lamia, and Bloom. When we continue, we will, we will, yeah, take on this enemy right here. It's staring at me. <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.